Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm working once again in Rooms of Wonder but we can start a new picture today so we're gonna do this little well bubble bath in a flower pot. So I'm gonna just start up at the very top and we're gonna work our way down and to see how far we can get. I'm really excited about those hydrangeas up the top there so we're going to spend a little bit of time on those and get those right. So I'm going to be using my polychromos pencils today as well as a sakura jelly roll. So let's get started. So for these first little flowers here I've decided to go in with my coral and I'm thinking burnt carmine. I think that will look really nice and I'm going in with my Naples yellow I think and possibly the light yellow ochre for those centers. So that's my plan for those and then I'm going to use lots of different blues, violets and maybe some pinky tones for the hydrangeas. when you're doing flowers like these and if you're doing them all in the same style and same colors just do them all like do one color at the time so do them do all of the flowers in the same color and then change for the next one and that way you will definitely save a whole lot of time putting down and picking up finding the right pencils and it helps you remember what you've done as well so I'm just gonna start out just doing the coral here on all of these flowers and then I'll move on to my burnt carmine.
So I'm just going to slowly start darkening things up using my burnt carmine here and it'll sort of give me an idea about where I want shadows to go a bit later. I'll probably end up using, I'm thinking, some dark sapia later on for shadows and we'll see how we go. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go in with my Sakura Jelly Roll and just remove some of those outer lines on the flowers. I probably won't remove absolutely everything but I want that sort of soft edge sort of around it and just to make it look like it's sort of blending into the background a little bit more and those black lines obviously make that sort of harsh distinction between a background and a flower so I just want to make sure that those are away and gone away and I'll probably leave the black outlines in the center flowers and sort of where I'm having the shadows because the shadows will kind of blend in with those lines so that should be fine If you are enjoying these videos, remember the easiest way to help out this channel and help this video reach a wider audience is to hit that like button and if you have the time, leave a comment as well. It really helps push the video out to a wider audience and someone else might enjoy this video as well. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified whenever I post new content.
these little centers here I'm going to go in with my burnt sienna and I'll probably use them a little bit for those that inner yellow flower just for a little bit of shading on those as well but I won't use them too much just sort of go and go in here a little bit and just sort of mark out a little bit of these centers and just make it tiny tiny a little bit darker As I mentioned I'm gonna go ahead and use my dark sapia for the shadows on these it's not as harsh as the black will be so it's a good one to use if you don't want to go if you don't want to commit to like the really dark black so I'm just starting out here just going over where any sort of overlaps are and then I'll probably go and fade this out a little bit 
a little bit later. I'm just going to line, line all of this first and then sort of figure out where all my shadows are going to be and then we'll go ahead and blend. As I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and use my Sakura Jelly Roll 05. It is the finest one of the pens and I like how it reduces down the, the black outline, but it doesn't completely remove it. It's still there, but it's much softer. So I'm just going to go around sort of the outer areas here and then I'll probably use them on that for that little yellow center flower piece there. I'm going to go ahead and just use it on the top two, I reckon, sort of little petals because I've done shadows down the bottom of them so we can put a highlight on the top ones.
I'm just going to do these stems really easy. So I'm going in with my earth green first and then I'm going to darken it up with my juniper. And I'm going to use a little bit of Payne's Grey for the darker areas. So I've swapped from my dark sapia to my Payne's Grey just because we're working with green tones here. So they're cooler colours. So the Payne's Grey will work really well for shadows. to get a start on these little hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. They have such a wide range of colors and you can just see on just one sort of flower there's so many tones in there. So we're gonna have a bit of a play around with lots of layering with different tones and different shades and colors in here and I'm really looking forward to showing you what we're going to do. So I'm just going to start out now with my light ultramarine and I'm going to cover all of these flowers on this top one. I have a feeling that this will take a little while so I don't think we'll get to the second lot of hydrangeas today. We'll see but I'll probably do the second lot of hydrangeas in a different shade to these ones because as, as I said there's so many different ones out there so we'll have a bit of a play and bring as many in as we can.
So to get a bit of a rounded shape on these, I'm going to have lighter colours up the top. So the top lot of hydrangeas here, I'm going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go in with a bit of salmon up the top. And that's sort of going to be my highlight colour here. And then as we go down onto the bottom lot of flowers, we'll go in with much, much darker colours. And uh, it should hopefully give this, this illusion that this is like a ball of flowers.
one of the things that really makes the polychromos such amazing pencils is that ability to layer a lot of different colors on top of each other when you go in really light you can just bring in so many different colors and you'll have them all kind of shine through from underneath and it makes for really really funky color combinations and everything now if you're finding that you have a bit more of a heavy hand if you hold your paint uh, your pencil a little bit higher up rather than sort of closer to the tip you will find that you will use less pressure and you can make these light layers like really if you're starting out and you know you have a heavy hand just go and hold that pencil like right up the very back if you want and just go in very very lightly and you'll be able to add so many more layers than what you thought you would be able to and you can get all of these different colors in and they'll all play along with each other and it's going to look really cool in the end
So I'm going to bring in my Indanthrin Blue, which is my kind of second last darkest color. It's only the dark indigo really that's a darker blue than this one. So I'm just working now just to really darken up any of those really those background flowers that you can see underneath. Any of those little gaps, we're going to darken that up. Any overlaps we're gonna darken up these very bottom flowers as well I'm gonna darken those up because I want them to be sort of in the shade a little bit so I'm just going in now and just making things a little bit darker so that we have that contrast between the dark flowers down the bottom and those lighter ones up the top I'm gonna go ahead now and bring in my light magenta. I love layering this particular color with blue tones. I reckon it looks really, really cool and it still gets, you get a little bit of that sort of purpley tone shining through with the blues and wherever you have a lighter area as well, it brings in those little bit of those pinky tones as well. So it plays in really well with the effect that we're trying to achieve.
time to really start darkening these things up so I'm going in with my dark indigo now and this will be my darkest shade of blue if I want to go any darker than this I'll probably end up having to go in with a little bit of black I'm thinking so I'm just gonna go in now and I'm gonna add in these little lines and I'm just gonna make sure that it looks like some of these petals are curving around a little bit by adding some more shadows just to the like the top ends of them and going into these little back areas so those flowers that are lying underneath everything we're targeting these up as well
it is time to bring in the black tones now I've got such a good amount of layers of blue tones so adding in this black isn't gonna completely make it like super super black you'll still have all of those blue and violet -y tones sort of shining through this is just darkening it up and getting those values right just going to go back in with this cobalt blue greenish especially down the bottom here and I'm sort of blending out some of those black and indigo tones a little bit I do love this color it is so pretty and it works really well together with these sort of pinky purpley tones and that light magenta
Now I just want to bring in a little bit more of that purpley violet in a slightly darker shade just down the bottom here just to really have that color come through in between all the blue tones before we go in with our Sakura Jelly Roll and then remove a few of these black outlines. As you can see adding in this white pen on top just really softens up that those edges it just make it makes it look like it's properly sort of curving around a little bit we've got that highlight up the top we've got the dark edges down the bottom and it just really works together and softens it up and makes it look more realistic really Just going to finish off by adding a little bit of juniper green to this little stem here you can see the bottom of the stem underneath the leaf below so you can add a bit of juniper green to that one too and once you've done that we are all done and dusted with these two top ones so i hope you've enjoyed joining in and coloring along with me or just watching if so, if that's what you were doing and we will keep going on with these little flowers and this picture next time so i wish you all a colorful day and i can't wait to see you again soon